Hi guys, Andy Guitar here again and uh, here we're looking at classic rock style power chords. So here we're looking at how to sound like ACDC basically in the easiest way possible which is using the power chords E or an E5, A5, an A power chord and a D, D power chord and we're also throwing in a single G note with your middle finger which is the third fret of the thickest E string, right here. And that has to be a single note. That's the one we're not gonna play as a power chord. I'll kind of show you why in a second. If you've never covered these power chords at all before, uh, please check out my lesson on E, A and D power chords in my beginner's course, where I'll run it through all those with a bit more from a bit more of a beginner's point of view here we're kind of presuming you've got those you've had a go at it you've played a few rock riffs before and you want to maybe create your own or, or kind of get a handle on what's happening so you can learn loads of new cool power chords um so a couple of things that you want to be throwing in here there's certainly some eighth all down strumming this is on an e power chord you want to be really comfortable swapping from e a and d whenever you choose to but at, you know two bars of each a bar of each or even two beats and even just from doing that you go as fast or as slow as you want you know faster isn't i know kind of breaking the mold here but faster isn't always better think about those acdc riffs a lot of times they got kind of silence in them and things, so just faster playing, even though Angus Young is an amazing fast guitarist, isn't always the way to go. Sometimes, we just want to do it slow. So this is something to definitely get to grips with. You know, just a bar of E. a bar of E, a bar of A and a bar of D. Really get to grips with that. Now we're going to go look at a concept now called a passing note. So we're staying on, for example, an E chord and then we're going to go for an A chord for a bar. Okay, just doing eight strumming. So this would be four and one, two, three and four. That's E power chord and an A power chord. In between those I'm going to throw in this middle finger and if we have a listen to that I'm going to do it on beat 4 just on its own and listen for a slight bend down as well which really makes it come alive like that just a real slight bend let me give you an example a couple of variations nice and slow Riffing a little bit of there, a little bit there to show you the capabilities of this, where, where this can kind of lead to, and um, that's just with really just you know playing on the beat or just with eight strumming. So I mean you'll hear a lot of songs in there as well. So there's a hint of TNT, which I have a video on already. Check out andyguitar.co.uk or just do a quick search for Andy Guitar TNT, how to play TNT. Um, there's quite a few others, 20th Century Boy has this sort of bluesy licks in it. I've got plenty of songs kind of lined up based on this E minor pentatonic scale, but with these power chords, a cool thing to try is just kind of letting them ring out. So this is similar to, to kind of Paradise City, which you could play along to, the Guns N' Roses song. Stick a capo second fret and you get Take me down to the Paradise City where the grass is green and the girls are pretty Take me 
home. Just as an example, just and I'm not doing a full lesson on that, I'm just giving you the potential of these rock power chords. So again, to play it onto the record, capo second fret, but just as an example, D, two, three, four, A five, three, four, D, A, and back to E. One more time. D, two, three, four, A, two, three, four, D, A, and E. Listen to how careful I'm being. Now, if I hit the wrong strings and then go for an A chord, still kind of sounds like an E. If I go for the D, just kind of sounds like a mess if I hit those wrong strings. So we want E, A, and D. If that's something you want to get, you are comfortable with and you want to take it up to the next level, you want to get some muting in there. And we've got two types of muting. We've got string muting where we can have silence. Or we've got string muting where we have chugs. And you can kind of do a combination of both. And then when you start throwing in that middle finger as well, then we start to get that real, really nail that ACDC Malcolm Young type sound. That last power chord that I did there was an E power chord, but rather than just hitting the thicker three strings, I'm also hitting the thinner two as well, and I'm muting string three with my first finger here. So we get this sort of sound. Sounds great for starts and ends of riff, but when you're in the midst of playing your riff, Of don't do it in the middle, do it at the start or do it at the end is, is the best way to do it. Um, but if this is something that you're thinking, wow, that's what I need to get into, but you know, how do I do it? Some of that just seems pretty beyond me at the moment. You need to learn examples of it. You need to learn some of those riffs, but then while you're learning them, see what they're doing. So the best place to start is definitely my uh, course of 10 songs teaching you how to play some of these power chord riffs, but also riffs that use the E minor pentatonic scale. Link will be in the bottom. They'll, I'm sure I'll put a link up here as well. Or just do a quick search, Andy Guitar, E minor pentatonic scale. E minor pentatonic scale, which is this set of notes. The most common scale that we'll ever learn on any style of guitar but in open position, which means we're using the open strings. And then we combine that with the E, A, and D power chords with this, and an electric guitar sound which has a little bit of fuzz, but is actually pretty clean. You know, if I just clean it up a little bit, that's, that's basically on, on the clean channel, but it's turned up too far. Um, I'm using a Boss ME70 here and it's actually set on the clean channel but it's turned up right to full which you can kind of do on effects boxes but you can't tend to do that on an amp too much because it just the volume would be too much but on any kind of effects you might want a, a heavier you know your standard amp overdrive be on the overdrive channel but turn the gain kind of as low as it will go is a really cool trick to get that that biting sound without it, for example, you know, counting too much like this. That's just overly saturated. And on the other ones as well on here. This is maybe what your, you know, to some people that's amazing. It's just a bit heavy for that ACDC type sound. So um, I'm right on the clean um, setting with it turned up too far and that's you know considering I'm, I'm not playing this through you know a Gretsch or anything it's pretty close to that ACDC type sound 
Um, I have an Epiphone um, Les Paul Standard with uh, a Seymour Duncan SH-1 at the bridge. This is a thing that I've really kind of um, changed on this guitar to really make it elevate it and make it sound exactly how I want to. It's like kind of Jimmy Page is the, is the sound that I go for personally. But yeah, have a go with these rock power chords and try and make up your own riffs. A great technique is to put a drum beat on in the background and I've got loads of free drum beats available in any of the strumming lessons uh, on my website andyguitar.co.uk or just search for, uh, you know, on YouTube rock drum kit 100 bpm go a bit go slower go like 100 or 90 bpm and really try and nail that and just have a bit of fun really um so yeah that's how to do rock power chords i've been andy crowley um please subscribe if you like what i do and check out my other free lessons at andyguitar.co.uk we'll see you there bye for now